and we are live. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, thank you for the host, Opie. We are live. Um, hopefully the stream's coming through okay. Um, oof, I'm sitting on my cushion. Okay, so I think everything's coming through okay. Um, do let me know if there are any issues with audio or anything like that. Um, so welcome to my special promotional stream of Headspun. Because this is a promotional stream, um, the game's not out until the 28th, Wednesday. Um, we are just going to be doing the first two scenes, the first two days of the game, um, as a preview. So hopefully everyone wants to buy the game and then uh, when it's out properly I can stream the rest. Um, apologies if I sound like I'm being very posh. I've been watching Downton Abbey for the whole bank holiday weekend so I have picked up a little bit of a Downton accent. <laughs> and I realise I sound like I'm in the peerage. Uh, hi Leaky. Um, so hello everyone. Okay so uh, for Full disclosure purposes, um, I received a copy of this game from Wales Interactive. Thank you so much um, for streaming purposes. Hi Valbo. Uh, and this is uh, an interesting, well, this looks like an incredibly interesting game. So you know how much I love Wales Interactive um, games. So uh, without further ado, also it's incredibly hot here, so if I look like I am melting then, well, yeah, I am. Uh, <laughs> so let's have a look, hang on, let me figure out which key I want, uh, Xbox is G. Okay, so, hello, I am here, um, aha, okay, so I think there's game audio. <laughs> yes, I have almost made it through JTask. Um, this is going to be the week. Okay, I don't know if there's voices on this. Hi Ray, and welcome to everyone that's come in via Dopey. Uh, that's really cool. I see quite a few people watching, no pressure. <laughs> oh, no emotes. Cutting what a bit close this week. Um, so yes, okay, so... Ugh. Why does it feel like someone's taken a sledgehammer to the inside of my skull? What the hell happened last night? I can't remember anything at all. I know too damn well what a hangover feels like and this doesn't fit the bill. Something is wrong here. Shit, it's 2 p.m. I'm late for work. Teddy's never going to let me face this down. No, let me live this down. I need to get upstairs to the control room and wake Theo up. I'm not sure what, 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 bleh, what went on last night, but I need to get Theo out of bed into the office right away. I've got a bad feeling about today. Alright, can everyone hear the game noise? I don't know how much noise there is, but there was definitely a noise there. And can everyone hear me okay? You hear the noise in the Joe. Thank you very much, Leaky. Thank you very much, Valbo, for letting me know. <laughs> we don't really want to start the stream with technical difficulties. Okay, so... Cool. Alright. I've set the sounds up. I just wanted to see what's going on. Okay, so why is... <gasps> I can choose my tie. Okay. I don't have everything else unlocked. But let's go for a candy stripe tie. Because why not? Uh... Hi Paul. <laughs> okay, well, there was a... I've been sleeping for God knows how long. Now's not the time to be going back to bed. I need to find out what's going on. Okay, so X, Y, A, B. Want to head back outside? Yes. Thank you. 
Did I say yes? I may have said no. Hang on. Yes. <laughs> okay. Slightly confused as to which one was the selected one there. The colour doesn't always work quite well. Alright. Oh yes. Okay. So this is developed by Superstring and published by Wales Interactive. Um, apparently in association with Pinata Media. Um, it is uh, a combination full motion video plus something else type game um, which made it incredibly attractive to me to want to, to get a copy of this to stream. <laughs> it does a little look a little like the art for the gorillas. I do like that art though. Um, they did some art for Absolute. I've got um, a London bottle uh, with gorillas art on which is very cool. Um, but also high draggy. Um, it's way too freaking hot here. I also really like the colour scheme because it totally fits in with me and I'm self advertising today. I've got my Angel on Xbox t-shirt on. Um, so yeah. Ooh, my controller batteries are low. Thank you game. Okay so at some point I will need to sort out my controller. Oh I can walk. Cool. So I'm totally colour coded today. What the hell? All this destruction. How long have I been asleep? All this damage, something is seriously wrong here. I need to head to the control room and find Teddy. Huh? The elevator is broken. Guess I'll have to take the long way around. It's not really a sellout, I bought it with my own money. Staff quarters? Staff room door's got no power. Another electrical failure? Not good. Yes, but the kidding part doesn't really come across very well with text. Yes, and also Paul is totally a sellout too. He has a mug with my face on it. <laughs> Ooh, reverie bar. Cool. Last thing I remember is being at the bar. What the hell has happened since then? Okay. Whoa, there's a dead guy on the floor. Uh, he's dead? Jesus, what's going on around here? There's more dead people. So at the moment, this seems to be Monday, 2 p.m. Ted's quarters. Um, there's a 0.35 and a 3.50. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Um, uh, dream theater. Out of commission, too. No dreams for Theo now, then. What the hell is going on? Uh, oh, this is called Headspun. Yes. Sorry, did I not say? This is Headspun. Um, it's a game by Superstring, uh, published by Wales Interactive, who were kind enough to give me a copy of the game to stream. So this is a special preview stream. What the hell is wrong here? Something serious, the hell is going on here? Something seriously wrong with the Imaginarium. Um, so we're just going to be doing the first two scenes, which is the first two days, so I'm guessing Monday and Tuesday. Um, uh, that's the lift, but uh, locked. You better have some answers to all of this, Teddy. And more dead people. Christ. I'll put you to rest properly just as soon as I work out what's happening here, I promise. No, this is not out until Wednesday. Um, and it is uh, yes I, I highly recommend you pre-order it now without even having seen any of the gameplay just purely because it is awesome color scheme and really nice art <laughs> she's dead what happened here so memory bank memory banks two down two okay You've seen enough to want it. That is highly good. Highly good. Uh, that's good. So that's the R&D lab. Let's go in here. Since this is the only room we seem to have access to. Um, so 
Ted's quarters, Theo. These are the names that I've picked up. Dead guy slumped. All this destruction. The whole R&D department out of action. It's currently 8.99 on Steam, I believe that says, and the Xbox Store uh, currently uh, a pound off the recommended retail price, which probably translates to about 12 US dollars. Not 100% sure on what it translates to because the exchange rate is pretty free bar right now. We're going towards. Con oh, oh no! Actually, it's il it's ten, it's ten seventy nine US dollars because yes, the exchange rate is pretty fubar right now. <laughs> Thank you, Leaky. Back soon, Thea. Hmm. At least the HR department still appears to be functional. I'll come back. Okay, so we've got dead people around, but yeah, H HR's still working. Cause yeah, that's totally a thing. Cortex. More dead people. Yet another body. I need to find Teddy. You better have some answers to all this. Hmm. Doesn't look like I'm able to access the left, he left hemisphere with all this debris blocking the way. Yeah, HR do never work. <laughs> but hopefully in the game we can we can we can get somewhere with them. That would be kind of cool. Part one: Rise and Shine. This is very cool. I believe we're inside someone's head right now. Clearly something went wonky because everything is very fubar. Ooh. Well, well. Look who's finally decided to turn up. What time do you call this, dickhead? There's work to be do around here, you know. So that's Teddy. And Ted. Okay, Teddy and Ted. Okay. What the hell is going on, Teddy? Cortex is in ruins. You better have some answers for all of this. I feel like I've been asleep for days. Days? Mate, you've been unconscious for the last five weeks. I've been manning this place all on my tod. While you've been catching up on your Z's, some of us have been working hard to keep things in order around here. Whoa. In order? Teddy, the place is falling apart. Why exactly have you been keeping in order this whole time? Well, now, you'll hurt my feelings. Take a chill pill, guy. Ah, oh, fine. Forget that for now. Just tell me what's going on. What happened to my head? Why is the Gore-Tex system down? What happened to our team? They're all dead, Teddy. Slow down. You're going to give Theo an aneurysm. Breathe with me, buddy. In through the nose. Out through the... I swear to God, Teddy! Look, there was an accident. I'm not sure on the specifics exactly, but Theo must have hit his bonds pretty hard. You've both been unconscious for some time. It was like an earthquake or something. The lights went out, the whole place shook violently. Cortex started to literally fall apart. Light fitting fell from the ceiling and knocked you out. Your head was bleeding all over the shop. It was revolting. Once the dust had settled, I took you back to your room, put a plaster on your wound, took you in all tight-like. Ah, Hmm. A knock to the head would certainly explain all of this. I've got no idea where Theo is, though. System's down, I need you to reboot it. <gasps> Ugh, I forgot you're of no bloody use to anyone while I'm not around. Whatever, man. Just hit the thalamus switch and boot the system back up. Then we'll have a better idea of what's what. Okay, why to hit thalamus switch? Reboot brain! Yes, he's definitely a, a different to Ted Ebert, P.I. Oh, hello. Hospital bed. Yeah, and that being the full motion... I'm pointing at the video. Uh, that being the full motion video. <laughs> Which um, Wales Interactive are very famous for. Where are we? I don't recognise this place at all. Some kind of hospital. That, that makes sense, given the carnage around Cortex. How long has Theo been here? I can't remember where we were before this. Nothing makes sense. Welcome to the club, pal. Our senses have been picking up diddly squat from the outside world for some time. No visuals, no audio. Screen's been dead this whole time. Well, we need to start shedding some light on things. Theo's not going to have a clue where he is or what's going on right now. 
Let's see if there's anyone else, anyone here, shall we? Hello? Hello. Oh, Theodore, can you hear me okay? Hi, I'm Dr. Peters. I'm the neurologist who's been looking after you here at St. Helens Hospice. It's good to have you back with us. I can imagine you're quite confused right now. Confused would be an understatement. You were involved in a nasty incident. We actually thought you were going to be in your coma much longer given the head injuries you sustained. A month is a small miracle in my professional opinion. Coma? This is worse than we thought. We need to find, find out what ha what's happened here, Teddy. Let's get Theo talking. How should we respond? Incident? I don't know the details, but it was a car accident about five weeks ago. Initially, you were rushed to St. Thomas Hospital, but after three weeks of failing to rouse you from your vegetative state, you were brought to us here. Okay, hang on. I just need to turn the music down a little. Because I can't hear her voice over the... <laughs> okay, uh, so this is Flipping Death meets Dr. Decker. Yes, though Flipping Death was not the same developers? I don't know. No, it's not the same developers. I would have seen that. Um, Yes, yeah, sorry, uh, the balance was a bit off. Is that better? Oh, she's not talking yet, obviously. Car crash? He has been unconscious for five weeks after a car crash. Shit, man, he could have died. What the hell happened? Chill, Ted. Stop flapping about like a toddler. You need to keep your cool or Theo is going to freak out. Let's work out what Theo's gone and done to his bumps. Is my head okay? Your head took the brunt of the impact. Your frontal cortex was damaged in the incident. Scans revealed only moderate damage, but head injuries can have all manner of unpredictable side effects. You've actually come out of your vegetative state several times over the past few weeks, but consciousness hasn't always returned in these instances. We were hoping that you'd make a full recovery, but this is far sooner than anticipated. Cool. Ah, <laughs> full recovery. Wish you could take a look around cortex. We're way off, long way off recovery. Headaches, confusion, memory loss. These are all common with serious head trauma. With comas though, it's often hard to tell if the person has fully left the comatose state, but you seem to be back with us properly this time. You're responding to my questions, your eyes are responsive. That doesn't necessarily mean that you're out of the woods. She's right. We've got work to do, Teddy. If we don't fix up Cortex and get this place operational again, Theo's in real trouble. Do you remember what you were doing on December the 19th, the day of the accident? December 19th? You got any memory of that day, Ted? Because I sure of don't. Can't remember. It's okay, don't worry. From what I can tell, there's no observable damage to the areas of your brain responsible for perception, cognition, communication. Often when people wake from comas, they suffer from severely limited facial movements or speech. Clearly there's a gap in your memory, which we'll monitor closely. For now, just rest, take it easy, and we can chat more later. Okay. I like this mix. It's kind of cool. And there she goes. Yes, and we've got still not, no idea what happened the day of this accident or whatever. We need to remember that day, Teddy. Yeah, well, you're out of luck there, pal. Memory bank's all broken and shit. I imagine files from that day have been damaged, hence Theo's confusion. <sighs> it's a memory bank out of order. Other cortex departments can't access memory files. These files are vital for Theo to make sense of things. Okay, our first task is to get the memory bank up and running. There's a lot of damage out there, but this is priority number one. We need access to those memory files. I'm surprised you're not interested in fixing the bar first, but this seems like a good place to start as any. Oh, thank you for the host, Mr. Corners. One problem with your plan though, smart guy, pretty much all of our staff died in the accident. We can't hire new staff because we don't have any neuros. 
The accident near enough wiped our entire reserve. Ah, so we've got up in the top corner there, it's got, I think it's a 0 0.35 something and then 350 something. I imagine that's the currency. Crap, without neuro credits, we won't have the resources to change anything around here. Yeah, without neuros, we can't build a jack. Ooh, excuse me. In case you've forgotten, neuro credits, NC. Okay, that's got to be NC then up there. Can be used for various transactions within Cortex, as well as renovating various areas of the damaged brain. NC can be used to hire more staff to carry out tasks around Cortex, as well as purchasing various other benefits and upgrades. And so you can be earned by completing activities. We can talk more about activities later though. Okay, first things then. First things first then, we build enough NC to restore the memory bank. This is our primary focus. Next step, we are higher. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, rehire staff to help repair other areas of the cortex. We need to build a team again. How, I don't know how the staff get in there, Leaky. And I don't know how you hire more staff for your brain, because I could certainly do with some more staff. <laughs> Apparently mine have all decided to go to sleep now that I'm streaming. It is ridiculously hot here. It's 30 degrees. Yogurt. Oh, I like microbiotic stuff. We're going to need to step out a game to get Thea through this, Teddy. You're going to need to stop clicking around. No, stop dicking around the whole time. Thea's in real trouble right now. He <laughs> checks on a tiny tie. <laughs> Whatever, bro. I've only got Thea's best interests at heart. I'll believe it when I see it. Come on, we've got work to do. Bleep bloop. Rise and shine. 10G. Complete scene one. Which of course you can see. So that was entirely pointless me saying that. Ah. So we have 0.03.5% cortex power. Cool. We've got three departments. Half a staff. Or is that percentage? Memories are zero. Task zero. Stress is 100. Okay, let's get cracking. Let's indeed. <sighs> Something wrong there, pal. What's the old up? I uh, I can't remember what to do here. <laughs> You're shitting me. That bump to the head really knocked you for six, huh? Guess you're going to need old Teddy here to show you the ropes. Don't be a dick, Teddy. Just remind me what's what and I'll get to it. Sure, sure. But you'll owe me. Okay, listen up. From Cortex Control, we have complete control over Theo's cognitive processes and decision making abilities. Apparently, we're going to get Scottish now. Um, during a shift, how we choose to spend the day will affect Theo's recovery and development. We decide what he does and when he does it. You and I are the ultimate stakeholders in Theo's decisions. This screen right here shows an overview of how Cortex is performing, which, I hope you've not forgotten, is Theo's current mental state. That big old number right there, that's the most important one, our Cortex power. That's Theo's overall brain power. Our CP is the combination of all Cortex department's power output, our staff's CP contributions, Theo's memories and any other Cortex tasks we've worked on. As we fix up this place after the accident, that number will grow and more of Cortex's features and functions will become available. Yeah, yeah, Scottish Northern Cockney, yeah, exactly. Basically, I've been like chain watching Downton Abbey this long weekend because it's been too hot to do anything else. So I, I, I'm stuck between a really posh English accent for some reason and then the slightly more Yorkshire. Oh, I guess it's more Yorkshire then. More Yorkshire accent of the staff. Um, so yeah, it really has just been too hot to do anything. I've got both fans on and the doors open. Windows open, but it's as I said, 30 degrees in here. It's ridiculous. I didn't realise it was going to be so hot this weekend. I thought I'd actually get stuff done. The only thing I managed to do is put the tripod up for the camera and fix the light bulbs, which I've now just stared at. So I've got little bobs in front of my eyes.
<laughs> which is unhelpful. Um, that number correlates with Theo's recovery in the outside world, so it's important we keep an eye on it. It's obviously pretty low right now, so Theo might be feeling a little dopey and not very with it. All making sense so far? I think so. I'm just surprised you actually know this stuff more than anything. <laughs> oh, shh. Little blow, man. Anyway, that's your diagnostic screen. Let's never get na navigate to the second tab on the screen here and bring up the activity screen. During a shift, we can actively decide how Theo should spend his time by choosing an activity. Each activity offers neuro credits and benefits Theo's development in different ways. Cool. To earn neuros from activities, you'll have to help Theo concentrate. His mind will wander unless we intervene, you see. Concentration can be stressful, however, so be sure to keep an eye on the red bar at the bottom of the screen. That's Theo's stress meter. The more stressed Theo is, the less neuros will learn from activities. To reduce stress, Theo needs to rest. You can either choose the idle activity to reduce a small amount of stress, or choose to nap to reduce a little. To reduce a lot. Depends how much time you've got in your hand, really. Hit the next tab. Okay. The finance manager allows us to distribute and balance our income in order to maximise our return and growth. Cortex is a business at the end of the day and needs to be run efficiently. You'll want to check on in on this often and ensure we're earning as many neuro credits from our activities as possible. It looks like it was knocked offline in the accident though, so I'll have to explain more another time. Let's move to the next screen. So yeah, on the staff screen, you can track our employees here at Cortex. Who they are, what they're doing, you can also summon an employee to assign them a task. As directors, we need to make sure we have enough staff to run the place efficiently and delegate tasks to them when necessary. Looks like we just have Thea on the books right now, though. Staff contribute more than just labour, too. They'll generate CP based on the happiness of the team as a whole. Boost morale, and you'll boost their CP. You can check your morale at the bottom of the screen there. That's it on staff. Go ahead and hit the last tab, the big button in the middle. Role, morale level 1 of... Three, possibly. Okay. Ah, finally we have the live fiend screed. A window into what Theo is doing right now, handy for seeing what he's up to at a moment's notice. Oh, it feels weird to send a get well card to someone who's unconscious, but I hope you come round soon. Love you, son. Dad. Kiss. And that's about it, really. Remember we work shifts here at Cortex, and Theo won't go to sleep until your shift's done. At the end of each shift, we're free to take care of other businesses around the Cortex. Theo's asleep at this point, though, so you're not needed in control. You want to head back to your quarters to rest at the end of the day, too. <sighs> okay, apologies, this is not the game, this is the heat. This is the heat making me on. Time's important for us here, Ted. Keep track of it. I'd say should we, we should be really getting Theo to bed by 10pm when he's in this condition. He needs sleep. Any later could be detrimental to him right now. An early bedtime, though, could have benefits. So that's the routine. Report here in the morning each day and we'll assess the situation and work out what's best for Theo. Once Theo's asleep and the shift is over, the day is yours. Simple. Okay. That's about all I know, Teebs. I'm sure you'll remember the rest once you get stuck back into it. Right, Mofsky. You got it from here, right, chum? Damn it, Teddy, wait! Theo's just woken up from a coma. You think you might want to stick around and help a little? Help a little, Ted. Mate, I've been working my balls off while you've been sleeping for five weeks, so no, I don't want to help a little. Laters, taters. Teddy, wait up! I'm going to straight up murder that guy one day. Right, let's get back to it then, I guess. Begin shift. Begin shift, okay. She's on a break. I think that says busy. Okay. Live screen. Okay, so. Well, we have nothing. So what have we got? Rest. No, uh, read, I guess. Isn't oh, really not much to do around here. There's a book on the table next to Theo's bed. If we're going to help Theo concentrate, books can 
yield a good amount of NC. Fancy it? Yes. Though I imagine if you've just come out of a coma and you hit your head, you're really not going to want to be reading. So I'm basically just pressing A when it's in the middle. Oh, and we got some credits. Let's take a quick pause. Six PM. I'm not entirely sure. How we're going to get that up? Oh, that looks like a work card. Hold two get well soon cards. At least the office thought to send to you or something. Five weeks. Wonder how they've gotten on without him. We need to get the cortex fixed up so Theo can get to work as soon as possible. Today's shift might be over, but I need to head to HR before ch clocking off. I need to hire Cortex some new staff. Shift finished. Shift finished. Oh, hi, my first staff member. Okay. So. Okay. It's gone to sleep. Right. V, leave. Man, what a day. But it's not over yet. I need to hire some new staff. Should head to HR and speak with Thea. It's right next to the control room. Head to human resources. Buy all the dead people. Which looks suspiciously like versions of him. Ah, Thea, here you are. I was slightly concerned something might have happened to you during the accident. <laughs> slightly concerned, eh? Well, you can call off the search party. I'm doing okay, thanks. Managed to hide away in here when things were kicking off. How are you doing? How's the head? Compared to the worst hangover I've ever had, which is saying something, but I'll live. I'm more worried about this place, honestly. It's carnage out there. Cortex is in ruins and it's all a fucking joke to Teddy. It's like he doesn't even care. He could have at least done something with the bodies. It's not been easy without you, Ted. Spring clean hasn't been particularly high up the agenda. You should cut Teddy some slack. He's been holed away in control the whole time, manning the systems, keeping Theo safe. I know, I know. But all these corpses, they deserved a better death than this. We were a team. Well, you're back now. It's time to fix this place up. Precisely why I'm here, in fact. I need your help. That's what I'm here for, Ted. Before the accident, my job was to pay our staff, deal with the odd complaint, the usual HR stuff. Now, though, well, HR is your go-to department for the restoration of Cortex. With your direction, we can rebuild and repair. The air will be better than ever after we finish with the place. Smashing sounds good. And we have an important task for first, the repair of the memory bank. We need access to Theo's memory files. Don't get ahead of yourself. When you can commission repair work as long as you have enough neuros, the actual work won't begin until there's staff to do it. Hmm, you're right, there's no quick fix for all this. Don't worry, we'll get it sorted. Subconscious is still fully operational, we can hire new staff from there, just like we've always done. You select your preferred employee and I'll get them signed up and ready for work. Each member of staff will bring their own set of skills and attributes to Cortex. You'll need to decide what we need most as a business. 
During a shift, you can call any t any staff to the control room to talk or assign tasks. No work will start until you give the order. You're the boss, remember? This is vaguely reminding me of Theme Hospital. And don't forget, each member of your team contributes power to Cortex. The more staff, the more power. Your team is the lifeblood of Cortex. Okay, I got it. Lovely. Let's get started then. I'll bring in the monitor and we can start sorting this place out. Okay. So we've got some... That. Oh, excuse me, I got the new ones. Control disappeared. Hang on. To do an emergency battery switch. I was like, nothing's happening. Battery died. One second. Hey, but I don't lose my audio now because I've got my audio going through the PC. That is one benefit, I suppose. Because that one's plugged in. So unless I disconnect myself. Okay, I'll put this one on to charge as well. God, why can I never see which way around the batteries go? Bees. Right. Oh, I'll have a drink while I'm here. Thirsty work gaming? Well, I mean, even professionals have their controller batteries die. I mean, you know, come on. Ah, oh, okay, so. Um. What have we got? Imaginarium. R&D, Dream Theater, Reverie Bar. We need to do the memory bank first. Do you want to spend 300 NC to renovate the memory bank? With this back up and running, you'll have access to Theo's memory files. Yes. Great. I'll order the materials and add the work to your task list. Now you'll just need a Cortex worker to carry out the work. Bring up the staff tab on the screen there and let's hire your first new team member. Okay. So we've got Frank. Am I experienced? No. Do I make up for that with passion and perseverance? Also no. I am cheap, however. Cheers, Frank. He is 0.2 brain power, 8 work, costs 50. Oh, I've got a gif. I can't actually see that. <laughs> okay. Roger. Dear sir, madam, I've been keen to work at Cortex for years and couldn't apply for the job quick enough after seeing all your staff had died in a horrible accident. I'm hard working and a quick learner. Thanks for your consideration, Roger. Roger also adds point two, but he does 10 work, but he costs 200. Dennis, to whom it may concern. My name is Dennis and I've worked, wanted to work at Cortex for some time now. I'm hard working and work well with others. I'd be hugely grateful to be considered for the role. Many thanks, Darren. Uh, Dennis, even. He is 0.5 and does 12 work. Costs 250. <laughs> it was an IT crowd gif, was it? Yes. Have you tried turning it off and on again? No, I just put new batteries in it. Oh yeah, and my controller totally fits in with the theme too because it's purple. Okay, so. Dennis is infinitely better than Roger, just purely on things. Rosie! Dear Ted, I saw the job advertised on Brain Monthly, and I couldn't apply quickly enough. I feel my energy and passion for my work would be valuable to the Cortex in, the diff in this difficult time. Best, Rosie. She's point two and twelve, so same price, but less brain power adding, which is a shame. Charlie! Dear Sir, Madam, I'm a hard and ambitious worker, and with the recent struggles at Cortex, I feel like this is the perfect new challenge for me to tackle. Please don't hesitate to ask me any questions. I think I'd be a great fit for the role. Charlie. Wow, 18 and a point five. Yes, she is definitely. Unfortunately, yes, IT crowd, obviously. IT crowd is one of the best illustrations of the... English IT culture, I think. Nah. But, 
you know, it's not bad. Just 350. We only have 173, so we can't hire any of the good ones. At the moment, we can just hire Frank. Um, so, sadly, we can only hire Frank. Basically, he's cheap. That is all he has to do. Uh, this looks like a good candidate. Want me to get the paperwork drawn up and get him started? Yes. Um, perfect. I'll get them added to the system and they can start straight away. Uh, be sure to say hello when you see them. Cortex is at home now too. How your first stamp member? Task complete. Tick. <gasps> I am now point five. So seven zero five seven. I can now. I have finance. Oh, hang on. We've got alarm clock, comic, robo cleaner. Awesome. But they're all very expensive. We can't afford anything. So I'm hoping that some of these stay here because Charlie is freaking awesome and I would like to hire Charlie. Um, and I also like to renovate some of the other rooms. But we don't have enough money for that now, so we'll say goodbye. <laughs> Bob, exactly. Oh, you've not met many Brits. Okay. I'm a Brit. Leaky's a Brit. Paul's a Brit. Oh, before you leave, Ted, I've got something for you. Oh, yeah? It's your Cortex tablet. I found it lying around downstairs after the accident. Nice fine. What, with everything going on, I hadn't even realised it was missing. Your Cortex tab will come in handy with a restoration and recovery effort. If you need to track your new staff or assess your current list of tasks, just consult your tablet. From there, it should be all pretty self-explanatory, really. Thanks, dear. I think I remember. No trouble. I'll let you get back to it then, sir. Okay. Alright, so now we have 0.57. Want to head back out? Yes. And 123 CP yet. Uh, now I've hired new staff, I'll have to sign the repair work to them. One for tomorrow. I should head back to my quarters for now. Okie dokes. Everything's on fire. Should probably just put the fire over there with the other fire. Ground floor. Random chair. Imaginarium is on fire as well. There's plenty of popcorn on the floor. Why is my couch not pink? Why would I want a pink couch? I've got a purple blanket on the back of it. My couch is brown because it fits in with the colour scheme. You want neutral to go with colours. I've got white walls and I've got a lot of sort of brown and cream furniture and then purple accents. Too much would be and I also I don't particularly like pink. I'm also fairly certain my camera is slightly drunk because it looks like it's going down at the side there and I don't No, maybe my sofa does do that. Oh, you meant purple. It is. Well, it's got a purple blanket, but it's um, brown underneath. The purple blanket was mainly when the cat was sleeping on it. <laughs> oh, you just forgot the English word. Well, what is the not English word? Oh, the staff room's got no power. That's not good. That lift doesn't work. More fire? Hello? Evening, Fred. I'm Frank. I thought I'd quickly swing by and say hello before you've time for the night. Ah, right. You're the new starter. Welcome to Cortex. I won't lie. You've joined at a rather turbulent time, but it's good to have you on board. Yeah, I noticed the place is a state. Looks like someone's got a lot of work to do. A lot of work to do. Yes, just enough purple. Oh, it's Leela. Uh, lilac, I mean lilac is closest, I guess. Which is a kind of purple. It's a slightly lighter purple, this is more reddish purple. I have various shades of purple. I don't usually sound like this. I've been watching a lot of Downton. Um, yeah, I noticed the place is a state. Looks like someone's got a lot of work to do. Well, yeah. That's why you've been hired. We need to get this place back in order. Theo's well-being is at stake, so it's an important job. We play an important role in that, Frank. Okay, fine. I'll leave you to your evening anyway. Give me a shout tomorrow, maybe. 
I mean, I'll absolutely be doing that, Frank. You're the first member of the new team. There's a whole bunch of work to do, be getting on with. Well, right, sir. Pretty casual, aren't you, Frank? Get some rest. Tomorrow's going to be a busy one. Hmm. Yeah, pale violet. Yeah. Man, I don't think I've been this tired ever this tired in my life. It feels like lead weights have been attached to my eyelids. At least the ears are steep at these now, though. A good amount of rest will certainly help us with our repair efforts. I just can't get over all this. Five weeks gone. Hours and hours of memory files lost. I need to help steer, th steer Theo through all of this. What happened in those weeks before the accident, and what was Cortex like during that time, for that matter? While it's also Danish. Cool. I've got to get that memory bank back up and running. I should sleep. There's a lot to do tomorrow. Okay, so why was ties? Take my tie off. I just feel like that's kind of cool. And then X was sleep. Turn in for the night. Yes. Violet? Okay, so it's now Tuesday. Okay. First full day back on the job. Time to get this place fixed up. I should get myself to the control room. First of all, I'm going to pick the blue tie today. I hope I unlock more ties. I want a bow tie, because bow ties are cool, you know. <laughs> Fast travel available via Cortex tab. Okay. Another day. Where's the Cortex tab? Aha! It is the Windows button. Head to the control room. Repair memory bank. Task should be allocated to its death. Uh, if we can restore power to the memory bank, we should be able to retrieve Theo's memories. No, memories from before the accident. With memories intact, the recovery process should be easier. I need to earn some neuros to commission the work. I should speak to Theo in HR. And need to get back there. Okay, so all tasks. Hire for staff member. Okay. Repair the memory bank. Uh, people. Thea. Is currently HR. She doesn't do any work. Like manual work. She's 0.5 though. Frank does 12. But is only 0.2. He's currently available. We can fast travel. And then we have stats. Days past one. Time past 46 minutes. Rooms restored zero. Memories regained zero. Total new recurrency one, two, three. And ties found zero. I love that there is a stat for that. That is brilliant. I really wish that the subtitles were very slightly bigger because I'm straining to see. Um. But so far it's kind of cool. Yo, I saw you had our first staff member. Looks like you might remember how to manage this place after all. It's a start. The sooner we can get a new team together, the sooner we can get Theo back to work. David's going to be pissed that Theo's been AWOL for five weeks. I still can't believe the old team is gone. 25 years we worked together. Theo was who he was because of that combination of staff. All his quirks, habits and flaws were born out of that team. Cortex is a different place now. What if the accident changes his, self, his sense of self? Theo's still Theo, Ted. You and I both survived that car crash. Remember, we still we still sh steer this ship, bro. And anyway, some fresh blood is what we need. It's an opportunity to build a better Cortex. A happier and healthier team. Huh? What are you trying to say, Teddy? 
Not sure how much you remember from the weeks before the accident. The team morale wasn't so great around here. Before the accident, the team was fine, Teddy. This picture was a place of success. Bah, you're either in denial or your bump to the head was worse than Theo's. Shut up, Teddy. Remember who's in charge here. I still haven't got time for your bollocks today. We need to focus on Theo's recovery right now. Fan. Lay some leadership on me then, big man. What's on the agenda for today? Well, we need to assign the memory bank repairs to our new starter. Repairs should take a day or so, and then we can start walking on what actually happened the day of the accident. Once we can help Theo make sense of this all, we can start putting his laugh back on track. Hmm? Someone's at the door. Quick, let's boot the system up and wait boot the system and wait Theo up. Theo, are you, are you actually awake this time? I mean, you've opened your eyes once before, but you weren't awake. Not, not really. The lights were on, but nobody was home. Hello, strange person. Are you there this time, dude? Hey. Theo. Hmm? Who's this joker? Beats me, Ted. His overfamiliarity with Theo would suggest that show me, though. What's your directive then? How do you want to react to this invasion of Theo's personal state? Uh, personal space. Um, I'm just gonna go with yeah, I'm awake. <sighs> Thank God. I didn't think we'd ever get the chance to, to talk again. It's been so long you, you scared me, Theo. Seems concerned, doesn't he? How does he know Theo? He feels familiar, but ugh, I can't place him. We're missing something here, and I'm sure it's related to the damage to the memory bank. I've been here every other day, you know, to, to visit, sat right here. I, I, I've been reading to you all your favorites, Sandman, Preacher, Watchman, even some of the new bits from Super Average Joe I've been working on. He's got asthma. Hmm. Super Average Joe, that's... I reckon that's what kept you going, thinking about it. Kept your, uh, your brain active while you slept. They said you could hear me. Could you? Do you remember hearing my voice? Mm, I don't recall hearing anything. No dreams, no voices, nothing. I'm going to go just with I don't remember anything. Seriously? You don't recognize me? Is this... Is this amnesia or something? I, I thought this kind of thing only happened in the movies. It's me, Theo, Jack, and, and unless you've been seeing someone behind my back, we're, we're best friends. Jack, this guy is Theo's best friend. I don't know much about it, man. Wasn't, wasn't pretty, I'm told. You're, you're lucky to be alive by the sounds of things. You've really got no memory of that day at all, huh? I don't remember a thing. I was hoping this guy might have been a shortcut to finding out what happened that day. Yeah, but that would have been too easy, wouldn't it, Ted? Hmm. Was I okay before my accident? I've not seen you for a little while, actually, but... From what I've heard, you've been doing... okay? I... I mean, you were drinking a lot the last time I saw you, partying pretty hard. You... you seem... distant. But... I put that down to the stresses of your job, man. You need to get out of that place. <laughs> Jack knows what's what. That fucking place is so dull, I'm surprised that it didn't stick to a coma long before this accident. You reckon the accident is work-related? Stress is dangerous, you know. You've seen what Cortex can get like when we let it build up. I highly doubt it, Teddy. Unlike anything else, stress in moderation is a good thing. I've used it to give Theo drive and focus. Hmm. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that, buddy. If stress was such a good thing, you wouldn't spell, spend every evening pounding back rum after rum at the bar. Hmm. Actually, could Theo have been drinking the day of the accident, do you think? You tell me, Teddy. You're in control when Theo's drunk. Would you have put him behind the wheel of the car blind drunk? Certainly seems like the kind of stunt you'd pull. Uh, I don't know, in honesty. My memories are tied up in the memory bank, just like yours. I've just got—I've got just as little knowledge of, of 
that night as you and Theo. Ugh. Tell me about myself. Um, okay, this is, uh, this is gonna be weird. Um, I've known you, like, <laughs> forever. I mean, I grew up in the same village as you. I still live there. London isn't for me. I uh, went to the same school as you. I like pretty much all the same things as you do. Comics, films, games, except... Except I'm not as worried about hiding it as you are. You're always so concerned about whatever people think of you. Sorry, that's, uh, that's you, not me. I, I, I draw, I write. My favorite color is purple. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, Woo, I, purple. I can't do this anymore. It feels like we're, we're on a date or and something. We lost the subtitles. Any of this ringing bells? Not really. If I'm honest, I can't quite make sense of him. I feel like I should know him, but I clearly don't. Theo must be all kinds of confused right now. Well, I like him. He's just like our boy Theo. They're best friends for sure, ma'am. They do seem similar, it's true. Jack's not helped us shine a light on anything related to the accident or the events of that day. We don't... know why, where, how, or anything, actu uh, actually. Hmm. By his own admission, he hasn't seen much of Theo lately. He might explain why he's been a bit bloody useless. Perhaps. But coming out of a coma is no small thing. We need to get more answers out of him. We need to know more about the day of the accident. I'm sure it'll all be fine. Your memories will return, I'm sure. Anyway, look. I need to head off, but I'll be back in a couple of days. Rest up, man. It's good to have you back. It's not a hospital room. Some kind of... Convalescence home? Long-term care? Hmm. Rushed off pretty sharp at sharpest th there, didn't he? Almost like he avoided the question. Jack's a weird dude. Something's not clicking for me properly here. It's a hospice. Okay, fair enough. I don't think I've ever been in one. I mean, nursing homes, but yeah. Oh, yeah, the doc did say at the start it was a hospice. Something's not clicking for me properly here. With the memory bank out of commission, we know very little about Jack's relationship with Theo. Other than what he just told us, we have no idea if they're even friends at all. You've got real trust issues, you know that. Why the hell would some random dude show up to the hospital room of another random dude if they weren't friends? I'm not quite showing your concern here, Ted, mate. I don't know, Teddy. I'm not claiming to have the answers. I'm just telling you something is off. Well, there's one solution to that, ain't there? Let's get the memory bank fixed up. Right, we should get our new starter on the job. Yeah, let's give the newbie in their first day on the job the really simple task of fixing up the department that contains 25 years worth of data that defines Theo as a person. You want to do it instead, Teddy? Uh, nah, you're a cool man. Let's get on with it. Let's go with a newbie. Come on, I'm assuming you've forgotten how to delegate tasks to your team and all. Let me give you a refresher. Refresher. I can say words. Oh! Best friends. Complete scene two. Okay. Um. Two seconds. Okay, I think scene two is where we have to stop for the preview. Though I really want to um, fix the memory bank. Let's just read the instructions and assign the person and then we have to end there. But we've had a good hour. Um, this is just a preview stream. I'll be streaming more of this probably Thursday. Because it'll be properly out then, and I can continue with it. Okay, let's get that memory bank fixed. Uh, so, uh, yeah, how do I dish out tasks to my team again? Ugh, oh, just let me save this moment for a second. I'll never tire of you asking me for help. Just give me the damn recap, Teddy. As if this isn't hard enough already. <laughs> That's what she said. 
leave it to old Teddy. So first you're going to want to navigate to the staff tab of the ice cream. Uh, right, yes, okay. Now go on ahead and hit the summon button of the staff you hired yesterday. They'll turn up and then you simply order them to do what you want. Give it a go. Okay, summon. This is a staff announcement. Ken Frank, please report to the control room. There we go. Hello, sir. How can I be of assistance? Okay, let's talk to them first. Hi, sir. Ah, oh, Frank. There you are. Thanks for coming in. You ready for some work? Yeah. Whatever. Whatever? Your casual and somewhat flippant tone is worrying me slightly, Frank. I need my staff to be willing and eager. I expect your attitude to reflect that. Cortex needs you right now. Like I said, whatever man, just let me know what you want me to do. You know, I'm your boss, right? I run the shop here. At least, try and make some effort. Just tell me I can help, Ted. Okay, tasks. I'd like you to... Pair the memory bank. Sure. Okay. And it's that simple. During a shift, just call your staff on over here and dish out the orders. In order to tackle all the tasks we need to com we need completed to fix up the cortex, we need a bigger team than this. Though, be sure to hire regularly to bolster the cortex team. By the way, I noticed that the finance manager is available again. While I'm here, I may as well bring you up to speed on that too. Where would you be without me, eh, Ted? So, if you go ahead and click on the finance tab, okay. Good, now you can see there are three options available to us right now. This is how we maximise our earnings from the Cortex. I'd start by maybe investing your concentration bonus, which is a good way to mo earn more NC in short term. Alternatively, you could put no more Nauras in an hourly Nora reward scheme, which will yield more in the long term. Time, term. Yeah. You can even permanently reduce the stress levels on the screen. Each opportunity has its benefits. The CEO of Cortex, you'll have to work out what's best for Theo's recovery. And that's about it, Chumsford. I'll let you get back to work. Begin shift. Begin shift. Mm. Okay, well, I mean, the, the, the achievement that I just popped was for completing scene two. And the instructions that I have are uh, preview content up to and including scene two. So I think I have to stop here. <laughs> did I ever finish the game with Steve? Yes, I did. I did. I finished it the next day. I never got the achievement for the end thing because it was glitched, and I don't know if they fixed it yet. Um, I think it saved. That's probably on YouTube. I thought you were there for that, Volbo. Um. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, okay, so... Aha, save and quit. Right, so... Oof, okay. Ah, I know you don't watch the reruns. I know you like it live. Okay, so I'm going to put the end screen up in a minute, but I just want to say um, that this has been a special preview stream of Headspun. Um, the game... Uh, it was developed by Superstring and published by Wales Interactive. It's available on Wednesday, in two days' time, for the princely price of $10.79 or £8.99 and various other cu currencies in between. Um, it, so far, is extremely intriguing. Uh, an interesting mix of like a management sim plus uh, full motion video. Uh, which obviously Wells Interactive are famous for. Um, I will be playing more of this after it comes out, um, but hopefully I've given you a taster of the game and that you'll all be pre-ordering it. Okay, let me just put it on my end screen. So, right. I have been Joe, otherwise known as Angel SK. I will be back tomorrow with my regular stream. Uh, 8 p.m. UK time. I haven't decided what I'm going to be streaming yet. It may be the last door. Um, it might be something different. We'll see how I feel. Uh, and then 
I will stream more of this on Thursday when it's out properly. Um, we can continue and rebuild Theo's brain because I am intrigued as to A, what happened and B, how on earth you rebuild a brain because I'd love to be able to rebuild mine. I'm not sure it's entirely accurate to, you know, human life, but, you know, we'll, we'll see. Um, but for now, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you keeping me company. Um, we had quite a few people watching today uh, so hopefully you enjoyed it if you did and you're not already following then please drop me a follow there's a, a button down here somewhere um, I would really appreciate that uh, if you're not like Valvo <laughs> and you want to see reruns of my previous streams uh, there's a link in my bio at the bottom or you can hit the exclamation mark YouTube command up for a link to my channel which has it has most of my previous streams. Mix has a big habit of eating them, but now I've got a proper streaming setup. Uh, I will be uploading every single one of them in beautiful 1080p. Um, so that will be cool. Uh, so yes, feel free to uh, subscribe to my channel, um, check out previous streams, uh, follow me on Mixer, Twitter, etc, etc, etc. Uh, as the little angel thingy that side uh, came up and said, you can find me on angelsk.games, which has a link to all my social media channels. Um, I don't know about you, but I am dying to find out what's happening in Headspun, so definitely tune in on Thursday if you want to find out more. Otherwise, catch me tomorrow for another regular stream. Um, and again, thank you so much for watching. Good night. <laughs>